Hey, this is Mike. You're gonna love this. But before I get started, if you could hit the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. I have hundreds of videos to choose from, from different bakes and models that I think will be add value to your shopping experience. But anyways, I'm here at East Coast Volkswagen in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and they are allowing me to show you this 2015 Volkswagen Beetle Classic. This is a 1.8T turbocharged 1.8 liter engine, and it has a classic design, which I think is pretty cool. And you'll notice with the new Volkswagens, they have a, you know, they redesigned the body, so it has a little bit longer look, a um, little bit longer wheelbase, so a ride improvement. Plus, it just kind of looks like an older, old-timey type car to me. So, let's check out the classic look. It looks like they're the old-style steel wheels, but they actually are alloy wheels, painted white, and then you have that center cap, plus you have that chrome outer ring that gives it that classic look. And it has four-wheel disc brakes. You've got that trim there on the side, chrome trim, which gives it a, you know, adds to that classic look. Wait till you see the inside. So here in the front, we've got the halogen reflector headlights, classic brown shape. Volkswagen. Get that Volkswagen symbol there. And at any time you have any questions or comments or anything like that, just leave it in the just pause the video, go ahead and start typing. Leave it in the comment section. It really helps me out and it helps everybody else out watching the video to have some useful comments. Okay, so let's check it out on the inside. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's look here first. Uh, here on the door, you can see it's got the color matched um, top part, the, the white part of the door, and then you've got that brown and black theme going on. You have a kind of a stretch pocket there for putting stuff. I guess like a bottle, water, water bottle would fit in there or something like that. You have that chrome threshold, but the, look at the seats. It's got that plaid classic design with the brown leather surrounding it. Uh, so the brown leather is here and then you have that cloth uh, plaid design there in the center. You've got the white old timey looking dash glove compartment that lifts up like that. Plenty of leg room. Very comfortable vehicle. Easy to drive. Fun to drive. Fun to drive. Everybody tells me how fun it is to drive with that turbo. Then there's the back, e back seats. They are bolstered and they kind of hug your body in the back. And you got a place to put your cell phone. You got speakers. The latch system back here for car seats. That front seat's all the way back to give you an idea of how the you know the seats are a little bit the leg room is a little bit limited with the seat all the way back. But you have to be pretty tall to drive like that. You have a cup holder and a 12 volt power supply for the back seat drivers. Alright. Let's go to the seat back like so. fuel door so we can check it out and the fuel cap I'm not gonna unscrew it since it has a you know since the engine's running but you unscrew it and there's a little stud at the end of the the cap that fits right in this little hole right here so the cap the the cap can be secure and out of the way while you're pumping gas and it doesn't dangle down and scratch your paint you got the spoiler there in the back it looks cool and also helps a little bit with your aerodynamics from what I understand. Kind of breaks up the turbulence back here. Then you've got that dual exhaust or two exhaust ports there side by side for the 1.8 liter turbo engine to breathe. So you're looking at the back you're wondering hey where's the handle? Let's open it up. It's right here. 
You just push that and lift it up. Just got to do it in one continuous motion, I guess. Okay. So you have this shade that lifts up out of the way. And plenty of storage space, especially considering that those seats will fold down. Uh, so you can have additional storage space. And then this lifts up, and you do have a spare tire with the tools. So that's one thing that's good, because a lot there's a lot of cars on the market now, new cars, that do not offer a spare tire, or do not have a spare tire. They're sold without a spare tire, so this one does have it. So definitely wanted to be aware of whether you have a spare tire or not. Alright, let's take a look under the hood and check out that 1.8 liter. Alright, just under here, just below the Volkswagen symbol, is a little switch. Just move it off to the side. Actually, that's what it looks like there. Moves over. Alright, there it is, 1.8 liter. Covered up a little bit with plastic, but not too bad. It's got the turbo there in the back. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of hidden back there. Insulated battery. All right. Let's take a look on the inside a little bit more. All right, here we are on the inside with that white dash, shiny, glossy white dash, and the black accenting everything. It's really cool. Love the way this looks. Where the seats are. Okay, <laughs> even has a flat bottom steering wheel. Okay, so let's take a look here at the driver's door. We've got some storage space there with the elastic band for putting your bottle or something there your power windows are right there nice comfortable handle power door locks and then your side mirrors are controlled with this little joystick you just have to pick the side you want and you can you know adjust it and then you just put it back in the middle to avoid re messing it up once you got it adjusted so here is your lights it's just on or off i like that very simple and uh, your dimmer switch is here and then this is different uh, color choices I believe if I'm not mistaken I can't really tell at, during the day um, to where you can change the the interior um, accent lighting if I'm not mistaken that's what that's for but if you can correct me if I'm wrong please so here's the steering wheel it's got the shiny white and then the black leather around it with some brown stitching to match the rest of the vehicle has a little bit of a flat bottom gives it a sporty look to match the turbo slight slight ever so slight bolstering in the steering wheel to give you just a little bit of extra lateral control there so the buttons on the steering wheel uh, right here is um, for your this correlates to the screen here so you can cycle through, I'll just go ahead and cycle through so you can see what I'm talking about. Information like your audio, whatever your radio is doing, this is your compass. Um, you can go into settings here and your, your range, how far you can go with the given fuel that you have. Audio, and then it scrolls back to the audio. And at any of these screens uh, that you can go up and down, you have the ability to go up and down there. And then you can go back out with that button. So, um, so let's go ahead and look at this side. This is where you find uh, your radio, your volume for your radio. Also, you can change through your presets on your radio with these buttons. And this button, you see it's got a phone on it. Well, this is also part of your phone system. So to answer the call, like if somebody's calling you, once you pair your Bluetooth phone, somebody starts calling you, it rings through the system. There's no need to fumble around trying to find your phone. You just push that button there and just say hello and you know they'll be able to hear you and you can have a conversation and then you push it again to hang up if you want to make a call you push this button it's a microphone button and uh, voice recognition and you just say hey call um, so and so whoever happens to be in your phone book or you can you know spell out the numbers i believe 
and you can make calls. So this is a really good safety feature that keeps your hands on the wheel, eyes on the road while staying productive using your phone and of course, you know, changing your radio and stuff like that. So back here is your cruise control. You just have to make sure it's on. Uh, you can have it off. There's on. To cancel, you just bump it like that. It's kind of spring-loaded. Then if you want to um, set it, you just push this button and then you have up and down is your speed. You can change your speed up and down, like faster or slower. Um, so that's basically that. And then you're, of course you have your turn signal and then you've got your dimmer switch for dimming your headlights there. On the right side is for your windshield wipers and windshield washers there. And let's go back to the gauges because this is a really cool, I like the way they have the gauges. It's real simple. Big speedometer there in the center it goes up to 160 miles an hour. And then you have your RPMs there to the left. But look at the size of the gas gauge on the right. I mean, this has got to be the biggest gas gauge I've ever seen in the vehicle. I mean, it is just huge stands out at, at you know it's just like you can't miss it so I think that's really good it's you know helpful for people that maybe run out of gas or something uh, who knows but I, I really like the 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 prominence of the gas gauge there and the simplicity of the gauges okay so up here we've got a kind of quick access pocket storage I don't know what you want to call it it's a place to set something down now this isn't particularly uh, helpful for things like electronics you don't want to set your cell phone up there and then leave it in the sun because it might mess it up so I guess a piece of paper or a pencil or something like that would be fine to leave in the sun um, or if you're just in your garage or something of course you could put whatever you want there so the next time you get in your vehicle you, you know it's right there so you can see it all right so here's your radio it does have navigation which I'm in the navigation screen now so you can see what the map looks like um, CD player there at the top uh, the radio, you can push band, which you can choose um, AM, FM, stuff like that. You also have your presets wrapped around there. Media, this has the ability to play music through like an iPod or also your Bluetooth sound, you know, Bluetooth system. Uh, once you pair a Bluetooth device, your, your phone, if you have music on your phone, you can play it through there. And this is where you pair your phone. Once you pair it, then you'll have a... Um, access to more information there navigation is just simple as pushing that button and then you can go into and find you know certain destinations and stuff like that put in an address and it'll take you right there and then there's a lot of stuff in the setup screen that you can change um, you know like your automatic day and night screens stuff like that and also whether you want it to auto zoom and you do have the traditional knobs, um, volume knob here, change through the stations there. There's a back button in case you go into a particular screen, you can back out of it. And um, you can make choices here, uh, left or right. You also have an auxiliary input there for you know pretty much playing any kind of audio devices that, device that has that kind of port. Okay, so down here we have uh, the climate control. And you have your heated seats that have three different settings. You just keep pushing it and it will um, cycle through same thing on the passenger side so here's your temperature fan speed and where you want the air to blow I mean it's about, about as simple as that four-way flashers emergency flashers are there and you have a pretty adequate storage pocket in here for putting stuff it has like a rubber liner um, that you can you know remove and clean and put back in 12 volt power supply is here so here's the shifter and the shifter is, um, it kind of has a sporty design with a boot here, like a leather boot, and it has a comfortable grip. It's, it's a synthetic uh, plastic, real strong polypropylene type stuff on the each end with the chrome in the middle, that metal in the middle. But let me go ahead and just kind of cycle through. I want to show you. There's reverse, there's neutral, there's drive. And if you want to go kind of get more sporty, uh, you can put it down in sport mode and this tells the vehicle that you want the highest performance You're not really caring about gas mileage right now Now if you need to change the gears yourself if you want to do that You just put it up here and drive and push it to the right so now I can cycle through the gear ratios if I want to and It's not going to allow me to completely cycle all the way up to the highest gear and then start off like that It's going to keep me in a specific range that's you know healthy for the engine and all that stuff but you do have some control over the gear ratios if you need to. 
especially downshifting and you know if you're going downhill and you need some engine braking um, stuff like that all right so there's the shifter um, your parking brakes here cup holders are there and they have the little things that, that squeeze in and out to accommodate a uh, larger or smaller cup and then you have this little armrest here that kind of you can pull it up out of the way and get it out of the way if you want and have a couple pockets underneath it but if you want it you can have it there and this also opens up you have a little storage compartment a really neat place to put your phone if you want to once you pair your bluetooth phone let me get my phone and see if how it fits in there oh yeah fits perfect actually so that would be a good spot to put a cell phone out of the way and since you're hooked up to the bluetooth system you won't be tempted to fumble around with it when it's out of the, out of sight out of mind there's the rear view mirror it does have the kind of the standard day and night mode manual mode there and up here we have some lights tap lights quick easy way of getting a specific light in a certain direction if you want all the lights on you just push that button there if you want them to turn on with the door you just put it in the center position there so right now if I open up the door the lights turn on if I do not want the lights to turn on with the door I just push that so now when I open up the door they do not turn on all right so um, here's your microphones for your Bluetooth system and here is some buttons now these will actually make calls so I'm not actually gonna put them uh, push them but you know like this is emergency call this is for, like if you need a mechanic or something like roadside assistance and then this is just general information on how to use your vehicle and you'll be able to talk to a, a, a Volkswagen specialist apparently and up here is a place to put I guess your garage door controller or um, just about anything it has a little bit of a lip on the edge so it's not gonna fall out and hit your head or anything um, once you put it in there it's pretty much gonna stay in there so there's your visor it does have a mirror in it and this little thing to put your registration or paper or something there same thing on the passenger side all right, so let's take a look at the visibility back here. So what do you think about this car? Do you like it? I like it. I think it's neat. I like the way the, the seats are. I just like everything about it. Um, I like the new body style of the Beetle. Um, I also like the beetle in general just the the classic styling of it and um i just want to show you there's the glove compartment but there's this thing here that hooks up to, to an ipod i just want to show you that cable there in the glove compartment but anyways there's the glove compartment it has actually two of them so you got the top one and the bottom one but anyways i want your input because um you know, I, I like it, but I want your input as far as whether you like it or not. Uh, have you, you have any experience with a Volkswagen Beetle? Have you ever driven one? Have you ever driven this one? Maybe taken one for a test drive? That kind of thing. So, really appreciate your, your time. And I appreciate East Coast Volkswagen for allowing me to show off this awesome car. And I'll leave John. He's a buddy of mine. It works here. Uh, he will be able to hook you up if you want one of these cars anywhere in the United States he could deliver it to your house so I'll put his contact information in the description and I'll see you next time thanks